Gaming on Android and mobile gaming in general has built this reputation of being packed to the brim with microtransactions. But I know you have a ton of PC games in your Steam library backlog. So today, I want to show you just how easy it is to play these PC games on your Android smartphone or tablet. It's gotten to the point where some of us go out of our way to avoid mobile gaming news because nine times out of 10, it's going to be a casual free to play game that has been tuned and balanced with in-app purchases in mind. But Valve has been working on getting its PC gaming library working better on Linux. And what is Android? If not a build of Linux with a unique kernel that has been optimized for mobile workloads. So with the help of Proton, which is actually just a fork of Wine that has been optimized for video games, we can easily play Steam games on our Android smartphone or tablet. As long as the hardware has enough power to emulate that game, then you're good to go. So let me show you how this works. Today, we're going to be using a free application from the Google Play Store called Game Hub. And I'll have this page linked down below for those who would like a quicker way of finding it. But you should be able to just search for Game Hub in the Play Store, all one word, and find it that way as well. Once this has been installed, go ahead and open it up. Then, after some permission prompts, you're going to see a row that we can scroll through right here. And the Steam icon is going to be very visible from here. So we're going to tap the sign into Steam option. And if you're worried about typing in your username or password here, then you always have the option of using the QR code instead. Making sure you have two factor authentication enabled on your Steam account before doing any of this is a great way of keeping your account secure and protected as well. Then after we log into our account, we can browse through the games that we own in our library, install them directly from here, or we can actually search for them just like you would if you were using an actual Steam application on Android. And again, just takes a few taps to get that installation process going. Now, you definitely do not need a controller like this to play Steam games on your Android device, but it can help. When you are ready to play your games, you can find the ones that you installed from your My tab. That's not going to work for every game out there, but it's usually worth a shot since the default options are going to be fine for certain titles. After a little bit of time, you'll see the game start to load up, But if everything goes smoothly, you'll see it load up just like that. Now we do have audio that works here, but I'm going to keep that muted so I don't get dinged by YouTube.
if you end up trying to play a game that doesn't load or it gets stuck at a black screen like this, then we can actually back out, go down here to this three dot icon, and then go into the PC game settings options. Now in here, you're gonna find a compatibility section. And within here, there are a few settings that you'll need to focus on. This usually includes the compatibility layer, which you can change from Pro Proton to Wine. You can change the GPU driver, which if you have a device that is compatible with a Turnip Mesa driver, then you can load that up through here, or you can download and set up the latest system driver from Qualcomm. If you're having issues with audio, you can switch that over from Pulse to ALSA. And then we have the DXVK and VKD 3D options. Now, it can help if you know whether the game was built on DirectX 10, DirectX 11, or 12. And that information will clue you into which DXVK or VK 3D three version that you want to use, especially that goes along with the CPU translator. But you can also check out the website muready.com as well. Then go in here and use the filters to filter only GameHub and WinLater. Then go through this list, see if your game has been submitted and then use those settings to emulate that PC game on Android. And if all else fails, it's a good idea to ask the community if they've been able to emulate the game on Android yet. The comment section for this video here, Reddit, Discord, or any other community forums are all great places to find help for these specific emulator settings.